how serious is it in Batu compared to the other constituencies in KL? Uh, I think, well, in general, this is a poorer area. I mean, it's, um, we have a lot more poor flats mm. and we have a lot more um, because it's uh, adjacent to the cities. And now you see that poor people cannot afford to live outside the city because this uh, access to their work, access to to the market, etc. So they tend to look around, to stay around here. Mm. Um, then you have uh, a lot of, uh, what's that called, a lot of um, the low-cost flats around here, um, which which make make the situation, uh, make, make Batu look uh, a lot more under pressure. Um, we have uh, another y unique situation where I think maybe the other places are not, uh, um, may not encounter, is that there is uh, the biggest chunk of land reserve, uh, which is the KTM land. Um, Batu, which is uh, located in the centre, which is part of Batu, um, where our one of the our uh, railway settlements are around here. Um, railway reserve in this um, in this area, the entire uh, um, lots of land, virtually privatized to uh, to developers, and there is definitely uh, issues about uh, whether we want to take care of the. Um, the marginalized, the needy, or you chasing after profits. When the government privatized the pri privatized uh, KTM land, uh, which I I think is a very unwise decision, um, then of course private developers' interest is to maximize profit from land. Um, then naturally, they they thought of building more luxuries and uh, shop lots and luxuries houses um, and indirectly that displays the poor although the Dato Bandas meet us every two months or whatever then it's more firefighting we're just uh, bringing out problems that we face and not going into the situation to see us as partner mm -hmm. and to see us as part of uh, trying to come up with solutions to all these problems yeah, this is this is uh, in a more uh, I would say it's more of a policy level, more immediate level. I think um, government need new uh, approach to urban poverty. I think uh, there must be some uh, immediate efforts made, uh, funding allocated to solve uh, problems that faced by people in in the urban area. Um, we can't just use very simple, just hand out. We just can't just uh, just uh, do Hari Raya giving hamper and that sort of thing. It's not going to solve the problem. The problem comes from uh, how do we um, develop the cities and whether we create proper opportunity for people who are living in the urban area. And we also need... Uh, better housing facilities. Uh, DPKR become an enforcement structure where it directly come under the Federal Territory Minister. Um, by right it is not. DPKR is supposed to function as a state, as a government. Uh, because there was no elections of the DPKL's authorities, it's virtually by appointment. They, ans they are only answerable to the government. They, don't, they are not answerable to the people. So that, that has uh, made it very difficult for DPKL policy to be responsive to the need of the residents, to the need of uh, the urban dweller. So I think um, that is the first thing that they, we have to rectify. The new Dato Banda, the, or not so new, but the new the Dato Banda, at least trying to maintain a cordial, uh, uh, friendly relationship with the members of parliament. Um, unfortunately, the FT minister uh, is a is a very arrogant politician, 
that's uh, also taking a very sectarian and a partisan attitudes, uh, openly declaring his party allegiance in most of uh, the function. Uh, I was just uh, meeting out with a group of uh, what is it called settlers who are facing eviction um, in uh, what is it called in uh, Seri Sontosa, um, Oakland Road. Um, they went to his office and bas basically his office said, "You are Pakatan supporters, uh, you know, and no point for me to help you." I mean, coming openly from uh, minister's office that is uncalled for unbecoming and uh, and this is not the only experience and many other people face that experience um, so i think uh, the ft ministers does not uh, know his responsibility as a politician as a minister He's, he is not an amno politician and he has to be responsible to to the entire uh, Kuala Lumpur as well as uh, federal territories uh, citizens. These things um, are not there. There's no communal hall for performance. There's no, even community halls has been mostly squatted by Barisan National. And until today, they are not, they are still illegally, illegally occupying those uh, public facilities. And that's, that's outrageous. And uh, on that note, I see you see this all this uh, painting mm. surrounding this. These are artists uh, in Batu that have drawn this, and I uh, and I took this and for some time for display, and also we are helping to auction this, uh, both for fundraising and also to increase uh, the visibilities of uh, of uh, hidden talent. In areas and they they are, they have no no space at all to to display them uh, their play, their their talents and their artistic skill and in fact this is this is something that also uh, very lacking in uh, in our DPKL budget there was no not at all I mean we can spend millions for the symphony you know we are uh, but not spending enough into providing uh, what's it called down to earth uh, accessible uh, arts or performance or entertainment for these uh, our urban citizens do you know if KFAP provides um, employment opportunities for the people or you know just the upkeeping of the of the grounds they put it might but okay. uh, I think it's very minimum yeah all these are all very minimum and uh, there was no um, I think the, I, mean, I don't blame on the, 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 I don't put the blame on the, the company as such generally uh, when we when the government approved and conceived the projects mm -hmm. uh, there was no um, no index to look into how how many jobs that it can be created.